Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to TechSmart for another episode of Wish Busters, the show where we buy and try items here on Wish. In this episode, we actually got a third camera and we're going for interesting gaming accessories. I'm so excited. Interesting camera angles and gaming accessories. So let's roll it. Now before we jump on Wish, big thanks to Skull Candies Indie for sponsoring today's episode. If you guys want to check it out, link to the Indies down in the description. Now what's sweet about these is they're Bluetooth wireless earbuds, but unlike some others, they're IP55 certified. So they're dust, they're water, they're sweat resistant. They're more of like the active wireless earbud. These actually come with a gel tip and these gel stability seals. So if you have small ears and small ear holes, these are gonna fit, and these basically fit everyone's ear now. What's really sweet is with Skull Candy, the bass is a little bit more pronounced. That's one thing that I have noticed. And of course, they work with iOS and Android devices with Bluetooth. And what's even cooler, Ev, you know the battery life on these guys? Four hours with the Indies, with another 12 hours in the case. So 16 hours in total, the touch activated, volume control, and the price. It's pretty sweet. Check them out in the link in the description. Let's get buying. Some interesting gaming stuff on Wish. Now we're actually getting into it. We're gonna have an unlimited budget for the last three episodes of season two. Count them down, let me know in the comments any other Wish video ideas you guys want me to check out here in season two. Season three is going to be an absolute game changer. It's gonna look a lot different. Let's just, let's just type it in. Since it's interesting gaming accessories, I have to type in gaming. It just, it just wouldn't be right otherwise. We got a gaming keyboard. We got a skin for an Xbox One controller and it's free. All right. I mean, $3 shipping on a free skin? I feel like there's some better skins for Xbox One controllers. Pintilli had very nice texture. I love it. I wish they had it for Razer controllers too. Had it for a long time, have to get. Doesn't, got the bigger controllers. <laughs> So check first, arrived early, great for the value. Miriam, act like you like it. I think I'm gonna like it too. We're gonna hit buy. Ooh, all right, something kind of similar to a skin. And you guys have probably seen Control Freaks, the little extensions that go on the caps or the sticks of really any controller. This is kind of like that, but I don't know if it gives you extra length. I think it's just more for grip. For $2, okay look, it's a grippy silicone cover, exactly as described. The thumb pads don't stay on too well, but it's pretty good. Okay, I mean, it's Wish. We're happy with half. I mean, he gave it a four star. Really good, it improved my gaming. <laughs> amazing for the price, I recommend it. For $2, amazing for the price. Getting it in green, and we're buying it. Ooh, PC gaming. This is something that I've seen kind of expand as a category on Wish. I mean, of course, it's a marketplace. More products are gonna get listed to it, but this mouse has always caught my eye. I mean, it has variable weights, so DIY custom weight module, 20 million times click test, wait. 20 million times click test? Who sat there and clicked this mouse 20 million times? I really hope it was a robot, but you don't really know. I mean, it's Wish, you don't know where these products come from. For $14, great, ordered two more, Anthony. Alexandru Danielle. It's really great. I love how it works and feels. Daryl, as a gamer, I have to give this thing a full two week period of constant use to fully test it. And it's amazing. I highly recommend using it. Okay, we got three things in the cart. Let's speed this up. One pair gaming trigger mobile phone fire button game controller. I mean, it's playing my favorite mobile game, PUBG, for a dollar, two dollar shipping. All right, are people enjoying it? Iqbal, excellent. Working on iPhone 7 Plus. Works great, very satisfied. Aless, Farhan, fast delivery, two weeks earlier, about five months ago. All right, sounds a little sketchy, but you know, we're into it. Four things in the cart. Ooh, a PS4 external turbo temperature fan. $8, $6 shipping, Flavius. Just as described, fits and works great. Sean, fits perfectly, has rubber attachments, so it won't scratch your PS4. It is much quieter than the PS4's overheating fans. Auto kicks in at 38 degrees Celsius. I haven't heard the PS4's fans since, so it works perfectly. Wow, that was a paragraph. $8, let's just throw it in. 
Ooh. Table and chair arm support. Rotatable hand, mouse pad, wrist pad. Seven dollars. Looks like the perfect thing to elevate my PC gaming lifestyle. It's got your just, it's got your entire forearm. Okay. And it's verified. It's really nice after you used it yet, but I plan to update it. The things you find in these reviews. You won't find them on any other e-commerce marketplace. Brooke, pretty nice. Girls in office want one. <laughs> I think I need another. It's comfortable. All right, Brooke, sounds good. We're buying it in red. We got six things in the cart. All right, let's punch in iPhone gaming. And we're gonna see what mobile gaming brings up. Ooh. I mean, these are free. You can't really go wrong. They're just little clips that go on the sides of your iPhone. Does anyone in the reviews know what game this works best for? I feel like PUBG would work. John, like it a lot, came a few days early. I found it very convenient. Okay, that, that's a good sign. Louise, pretty cool little device if you're a game streamer, gamer, etc. But for the most part, I mean, outside of Luis giving it a four star, everyone pretty much likes it. It's free. How much is shipping? Two dollars. Okay, we can do that. Ooh, gaming mouse, twelve dollars. Classic gaming mouse, sixteen thousand DPI, seven programmable buttons, select size. Ooh, I'm getting a luxury. Seven dollar shipping. Not a single person has reviewed this. Please review the stuff if you buy it on Wish. How else am I supposed to make decisions? We're getting in blue, it better be sweet. Mechanical keyboard from Ajaz, $28. It's a wired mechanical keyboard. Do you even get to pick? Black switch, blue switch? Has anyone actually bought it? A little smaller than expected, but great. Typing feels amazing. It's really good, but the keys feel bulky as frick. Packaging was incredible. Keyboard is great too from NEMS. We got nine things in the cart. I'm feeling a few more, a few more items. One piece, three size, RGB colorful, LED lighting gaming mouse, matte pad. I wanna get a 900 millimeter by 400 millimeter mouse pad. Do I get to pick the color? Best black, ash black, antique black, cool black, or just black. Give me the best black. Good and fast delivery, good quality mat, nice lighting from Wii about a month ago. Taylor, this is legit and goes perfect Wath my setup. It's perfect Wath her setup. Maxwell, it's lovely. I uploaded a video of it to all my friends online. I'm different. Gonna recommend it, this to all of them. Maxwell did write this two days ago. I know he's excited. He did put the sunglass emoji with the rock and roll. We're just gonna add this to the cart. I'm gonna get one more thing because we're getting a little fun. I mean, it's interesting gaming accessories. We're chopping it up. Oh yes. We found the most interesting gaming accessory. Fortnite charging backpack. Daytime, it's a white Fortnite backpack. But at night, it's a blue Fortnite backpack. $18 reviews, got the right one this time. Lol, son loves it. So Alyssa also is dealing with the woes of wish. I'm in love with this purchase. My kid received it as a surprise and he is amazed. Daniel, it's really cool and built good. It's built well, Daniel. I'm making that item number 11. We're adding it to the cart, $182. Not too shabby. Let's see what actually shows up. We only got around seven total products, but for everything that's weird and in gaming and that's on Wish, this should basically cover it. And as you know, with Wish Busters, we rate everything on a scale of one to five, and we give it a score of Wish or Dish, basically tell you if you should buy it or if you should. Up first for item number one, I wanna say this is some sort of keyboard. Okay. And it does come with a brush, but don't really think we need that. And then we have a mini USB cable. So taking a little back, a little bit old school. Plug that on in and yeah. Just living in the 2000s. We're gonna test this out, play a little game at the end. So while we wait for the Wisher dish on item one and maybe everything else because it is gaming related and I do actually wanna test it out, that's where Wishbusters is going. 
We got item two? What is this? I actually forgot. So how this works is you basically take this screw and you put it up against the end of your surface, your desk, whatever you're using. So you have your chair, your keyboard, your monitor, and now you have an elbow guard. Doesn't get any better. Product number three, we have hopefully something we can give a wish or a dish on, but this is for P4 game counts, gaming console? So they're skirting around here. I assume this is for PlayStation. You have your instructions here. Cool down your P4 system perfectly. From what I think, if you plug this in with the included cable to the USB port on your PS4 or your PlayStation 4, you should be covered. Button on the side, it's pretty easy. Switch on, switch off. Hopefully this works. Now for item number four. Oh, we have the on-screen adhesive kind of game controllers. These just actually aren't even adhesive. They're just kind of like rubber. They just go up against your screen, whether that's an iPad, a tablet, a phone, doesn't matter. And they actually go right to center too. These are so cool. Dude, PUBG. Item five, I don't even know if we have seven in this video. Pretty basic one here. You know the test is gonna be awesome. I don't know if I'm strong enough to open this. This Xbox One kind of mushy grip, silicone grip, don't make your hands sweat. Maybe your hands will still sweat. And included this and this and this. I, I hope, I hope everything fits. Item number six. Okay, we've yet to have a wish or a dish. So all this stuff could suck. Okay. Gaming mouse pad. Here is, ooh. So it's got LEDs, automatic memory, adjustable brightness. I, I think we can test this one out. This really looks nice. You have your control panel right up here to adjust brightness. You have your nice long mouse pad. Micro USB cable, so all you do is plug into the controller at the upper left. Check out these colors. So we got some nice red going on here. Oh, it's just, it's cycling through the colors. Blue, green, pink, purple, blue. Wow, check that out. The entire perimeter, you have this glow stick. Nothing really else to say, nice mouse pad, nothing cheap. This actually feels like really nice quality material that you'd probably pay a hundred bucks or a few hundred bucks for if you wanted a really nice and long gaming mouse pad. But this is perfect, this is just multi-purpose. You could use this whether you're a gamer or not and just kind of want a lot of real estate that your mouse can glide on, this is it. So scale of one to five, absolute five, wish or dish, total wish. This is a no-brainer. Item number, are we on seven F? We are on item number seven. This looks familiar. I love this mouse. I think this is one of the older generations because it is on Wish and it would not surprise me because the packaging does look older compared to The reason I think it's an older generation and I'm not just saying that, is what the box looks like from the Wish and well, this is the Death Adder Elite box. So two different mice, one's elite, one's not. We're gonna find out and put it to the test what the Razer Death Adder is like. Oh, I'm so excited. Test that out on that nice gaming mouse pad. And now for product last but not least, eight. We have what could be a mystery. It's in a box, it's honestly the best for last. Before we get into the game, another mouse. Ooh, this one looks much better than whatever year. I love when I can do that. This looks like almost one of the cyborg mouses or like one of the rat sevens. 
It's not really customizable without getting an Allen wrench in there. Huh. Maybe it actually is customizable. You have a flathead screw on the back. So the next thing I'm gonna do, fire up the razor blade. We're gonna play some Apex Legends and test out some of the PC accessories. Find out what's really worth it. So everything's all set up. We got our mouse pad, we have our customizable Rat 7-like mouse. If you do know gaming accessories, then we have kind of our elbow guard here, which surprisingly is nice. I actually like the almost, it feels like a bath mat, where it catches your elbow nicely, but keeps it in place where you can still move it around. It's just extra support, and it just takes less stress kind of off your shoulder, and long term, that's good. That's real good. Now here comes the problem. Apex Legends servers are down. EA, get it together. I'm tired of this. Overwatch is just fine and dandy, isn't it? Yeah, so unfortunately, I can't actually test out these PC gaming accessories. Well, without a game, that's gonna work. It doesn't really matter to EA. So, whether it's FIFA, whether it's Apex Legends, it's the same kind of vibe. I'm gonna say, for this mouse, feels pretty nice. I can go on google.com, it's cool, it's pretty fast, pretty comfortable. Giving this a five out of five, so this is an automatic wish. And giving this wrist guard a four out of five, it's pretty nice, although it's starting to peel. It is from Wish. It takes a lot of stress off your elbow and your shoulder. It's pretty enjoyable. If you're actually gaming for a while, I think this, this, and this are what you want. Now. Where it gets spicy is, how is the old Razer Death Adder? Or really the Death Adder that's just not elite, but it's still a Death Adder. Oh, that's butter. Oh, that's absolute butter. I actually like that better than the other one. So if I can give this a six, I would. But yeah, this is getting a five. It's an absolute wish. Really just like how light it is. I mean, I know it's not as good, but as an option on wish, and of course, I didn't test it out on camera, but the keyboard, it works. I'm just really upset about Apex Legends because I was expecting this keyboard to be my keyboard. And then just the servers are down. Keyboard, out of five. It's a four. It's nice. It's not anything special. It's a wish. But I'm just so upset. EA, don't let me say this again. Now we're trying out something I'm really pumped to try out. These on-screen kind of gaming controllers. Let's see how these work. So you basically just put them on the screen or the glass of the device you want. I got PUBG fired up here. So one over the controller and well, just like that, I'm actually able to move. All I have to do is just kind of control my character. But if I just drop it anywhere on screen, I basically have friction created through the rubber and I can control it. That's a little weird. Yeah, that is a little weird. And now I'm getting shot at. So I'm gonna drop these so I can keep my ego intact. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Can I make it, can I make it, can I make it, can I make it? So there's one person left, here we go. Sorry, there's one person that I can see, not one person left. Now I got two kills without the controllers. So I think it's pretty clear what's good and what's not. Maybe it's just me. I don't think I'm actually that good at PUBG. It also is on mobile, so that's that's another thing. I wouldn't use these, I wouldn't buy them. So out of five, I'm gonna give them a two. They're a dish. These, they can just get lost. All right, so behind us we have a 75 inch 4K TV with Apex Legends all fired up. We have what are really nice stick cushions that have these awesome grips that actually hold your thumbs in place. So I'm gonna throw this silicone grip on this Xbox One controller. It looks like for the most part, we're good. All buttons are accessible, triggers are easy. It's got a nice grip to it, so crazy. On the PC, servers are down, Wi-Fi is up. On Xbox One X, I guess it's always up. Whoa, I really, really like this silicone grip with the thumb controllers too. Out of five, I'm giving this a five. It's a total wish. But now, can actually something happen? Let's see if it saves me in the line of battle. All right, here we go. Absolutely nothing. I have not played season three, so if I go out early, it's, it's because of that. 
All right, opponents are marking enemy over yonder. Perfect. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah, ooh yeah. So, so far so good. I'm able to handle really everything that you'd expect. The controller feels really grippy, really comfortable. I like this. I really, really, really like this. I just would like it a little bit more if I could actually test out my skills. Boom, baby! Just execution style, baby. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, we almost had him. Total wish. And of course, I could not forget the last product in this video is the fan for the P4 or PS4. So if you take a closer look right here, it's actually going to fall off. And I understand why it's on wish at the price that it is. It doesn't stay on the back of your PS4 as well as you'd want it. But if you give it a little push and you plug your USB cord into the rear USB port, it's gonna create enough friction to hold it and the fans are working. How I know is you can stop them. You even have, what is a turbo button on the side. it actually turbos. So I think this will cool my PS4, no questions about that. So one to five, giving it a five, it's a wish. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked, everything works, except the Apex Legends servers. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Wish Busters. Of course, at the end of every episode, we rate which product was our favorite and make sure you vote up in the iCard right there, which product was your favorite in this episode of gaming accessories. If I had to give it to one thing, Hands down, it's going to this mouse pad. It's probably the best buy on this entire video. So that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys are new, make sure you get subscribed. Drop a like if you guys want more Wish Busters. Let us know in the comments what you guys wanna see for season three. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.